So, did you know that we could get a fiery follower friend to roam about the constant with us for free, essentially, everyone? Well, we can. And while the price is murder, actually, we kind of pay that price pretty dang often in this game. So I'd say the extra adorable lave here is all but guaranteed. And if I'm completely 110% honest here, I just realized today that it's not actually larvae, but that's an entire thing. But these larvae things are truly some of the most unique critters in this game, with all sorts of uses if treated right. So let's go steal one, yes? And unsurprisingly, a larvae egg needed to potentially hatch one of these things for us has a chance to drop from yet another fiery beast, Dragonfly herself. Now, she has a 33% chance to drop one each death. However, I could have sworn that back in the day, I've seen her drop two eggs at once, but don't hold me to that. However, another spot to get an egg is Claus's loot stash, actually. As one of his bundles usually contains some boss drops from many of the raid bosses within this game. And sure enough, a lave egg is one of them suckers. So good luck. But we are the parent now, everyone. And that comes with responsibility, of course. Like how we must keep this little baby egg at high temperatures at all costs. Like tall bird eggs, for example, lave eggs won't begin their hatching process unless they are near fire. And no, magma pools will not actually work for this, mind you. That said, these eggs are a heck of a lot easier to hatch than tall bird ones, as they can't actually overeat. Heck, even having them cool can be a little tough, as even a fire with less than 50% fuel will be keeping it warm enough. So just keep a steady fire for two days, and you're gonna be totally fine. Don't do so, however, and you're gonna have a problem. A pretty cool one at that. A cold egg turns blue, and shivers even. And if left for too long, it'll completely break, leaving only a rock in its place. That's not good. Not good at all. Especially considering just how great these pets can actually be. So thankfully, I'm not a horrible parent like Dragonfly, and have actually hatched one for us here today. So, let's see what it can do. When one hatches, it will leave behind a lave tooth here, and think of this thing as the eye bone to Chester or Star Sky to Hot sort of deal. It is just the item that will have this extra adorable lave follow us wherever we go. So don't forget it, or else you're gonna be missing out, as this little guy throws off infinite light come night, and also has a lovely sleeping animation to go along with it. But this light also brings heat, and it is actually enough to potentially smolder objects and such, which could lead to random fires on occasion. Now while that sounds bad, it will likely never happen without trying to make it happen really, if you know what I mean. So just think of this perk as a really good one come winter, really. To continue though, another perk of this little one is its ability to be cooked on whenever we wish to do so. Yup, enough said there, I think. Much away. Oh, but speaking of, don't forget about giving this thing something to munch on itself either on occasion. Extra adorable lave all have a maximum of 100 hunger, which will decrease by one point every 10 seconds or so. And our characters will all have four separate examinations for whatever hunger stage these things happen to be in, so pay attention to that. Furthermore, the lave itself also has hunger animations, so make note there. But to up one's hunger, it will need either ash or charcoal specifically, and both restore 18.75% of hunger each time no matter what, which actually equals 3 minutes of real time, so make note there. And to add to that, if your lave is injured for whatever reason, both ashes and charcoal will also restore its health by 20 points each to boots. Good stuff. Careful now though, forget to feed the thing and it will begin to starve itself as one could imagine. 
The thing is, however, extra adorable larvae are so darn unique that they will begin to ignore their owner completely once they start starving and will seek out anything they can to burn to ash or charcoal itself and will literally feed themselves. No input from us whatsoever. No joke, it is an entire bloody mechanic, and it's one that could be really bad if it happens in base. So make notes. Ah, but before we look to wrap up here, one should also note how extra adorable laves are one of the very few non-pet followers out there able to go between the surface and the caves at will right alongside their owners. Very, very nice. But yes, it's time for a cooldown. Blast an extra adorable lave thing with an ice staff and let it thaw itself in order to obtain something called a chilled lave here. Now these do absolutely bupkis on their own, but are essential in adopting the broodling pet from the rock den as you can see. But most critters besides the mothling in this game are downright useless, the broodling included. So why would one just trade an extra adorable lave and all of its uses for something that doesn't have any use whatsoever? But to each their own, I suppose. And there you have it, everyone. A great look at a really awesome, potentially unknown follower within Don't Starve Together here. Seriously, extra adorable lave are kinda nuts with what they can do for us, and are relatively easy to come by all things considered the boots. So murder mama, and take one for yourself perhaps. Thanks for watching folks, well wishes to all, beware the burn, and I'll see ya in the next one. Bye bye.